Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about how to sit on your throne and the importance of sitting on your throne in a stable manner. Uh, because when you're playing drums, you're going to need to use both legs for either hi-hat work and bass drum or two bass drums or some other combination of pedals. And if you are wobbling around and not sitting stably and functionally well on the throne, it's going to make your life really difficult. So we're just going to go through a couple of things that you got to look for in your own personal playing and your setup in order to see if you're sitting as functionally correctly as you could on the throne for the best independence of leg motion. Okay, so the first thing to be aware of when you're sitting on your throne is that you need to maintain your body center of gravity over the throne, the, the center of gravity of the throne. If you are leaning forward while you're playing, then your weight is going down onto your legs. It's also terrible for your back, you're giving yourself lower back problems, and uh, it's not good for your neck. Hunching over is never good for anything, um, but especially not for drumming. So you don't want to have your weight forward. You also don't want to have your weight back. If you have your weight leaning back, um, then you're causing your core to do a lot of extra work that it really doesn't have to do. There's, there's no reason for that. And you're just making it harder to reach your drums and basically you're putting out effort that you don't need to put out. So what should you do? You should keep your spine and the center of gravity over the center of your throne, you know, where it's rooted to the floor the most firmly, uh, and of course sit with good posture so that your balance is not negatively affected by some kind of weird leaning. Same thing with side to side. You don't want to be leaning left or leaning right off of your throne. You want your center of gravity centered up in the other axis as well. So when you're appropriately seated over the center of your throne, you're going to have a little bit of throne under your thighs, and that's good. You don't want a ton of throne under your thighs, because then you won't be able to move your legs, and that's not conducive to playing. But you don't want to have so little under your thighs that you just start to tip off the front of the seat. Even if you're sitting up straight, if you're way at the edge of your throne, you know, you're prone to just sliding off, and you're always going to be sort of fighting against that. You want enough seat under you so that you are very stable and your legs are a little bit supported. This way you get options for pedal playing. Okay, next thing you got to think about is when you go to move your legs, does that affect your body? The answer should be no. It should not affect your body at all. If you pick up your leg to play the bass drum, it should not in any way affect your body position. If you pick up your leg to play the hi-hat or the other bass drum, it should not really affect your body position. I have seen students of mine who um, they sit there and they, I say pick up your leg and they just fall towards that side. Um, I say pick up the other leg and they fall towards that side. And it's because they're using their legs to hold their body up instead of using the throne to hold their body up. The alternative to that is I say pick up your leg and they immediately lean the other way in order to not fall over. And that's bad as well. If every time you had to play a bass drum you had to lean back to get weight off of that leg then you are not sitting in an effective position to begin with. So this also goes for picking up both legs. If I'm seated in the correct position and I uh, have a good torso uh, posture and everything and I'm in playing position and I go to pick up both legs, I should be able to do that for a short period of time and not, my torso shouldn't tip forward and it shouldn't sway back each time. It should stay centered and I should just be able to pick up both legs and I should be able to switch pedal positions if I had a multi-pedal setup and it shouldn't affect my torso whatsoever. Um, this is ideal, this is what you want. Now, uh, a lot of people when they go to play double bass, they immediately lean their torso back because they're not using enough of their core originally to hold their legs up. Um, additionally, some people find it's almost impossible to play double bass because they go to use their legs and they tip forward and they the pedals go down and you know they can't play. So obviously both of those scenarios are bad. You don't want to be tipping back or tipping forward just because you went to play two feet. Um, whether it be hi-hat or cowbell or clave pedal or, or whatever you have. The next thing to think about is that for like a floating technique, a protracted length of double bass playing, you quite honestly should be able to just take your feet off of the throne. Okay, you see that I can't do that forever, but um, I can pick up my feet and my torso stays relatively uh, in the position that it started in. I don't need to chuck my weight back to pick them up. I don't need to brace on anything to pick them up. Obviously, um, no one's going to be perfectly statue still. But in a general sense, 
I'm balanced over the throne enough that I can do anything I want with my legs and it doesn't affect my torso at all. So you can go ahead and check yourself at home quite easily by just sitting on your throne, picking up a leg, picking up the other leg, bouncing both legs, and checking to see if your head and your torso actually move when that happens. If they don't, you're probably okay. If they do, if you feel a tendency to lean back or you feel like you're tipping forward or you're swaying side to side as you play your legs, you really need to seriously reevaluate how you're distributing your weight on your throne. Um, because when you get it to where you're sturdy and where you're not moving around, playing becomes vastly easier. All right, guys, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Take it easy.